<laughs> welcome back to STL Live. I'm Sarah Thompson, and I'd like to welcome Erica Parr from Expressions Challenge. Yes. Erica Parr from many <laughs> other things, but it's always great. great to see you. You too, Sarah. So we're talking about Expressions Challenge today. Mm -hmm. something even on your t-shirt. On my t-shirt branded. Uh, sponsored by Walgreens. Tell me about this. What is I it? I love it. I love the program. It's a Healthy Choices contest for high schoolers. You have to be 14 to 18 years old to enter. Okay. And we are going around all high schools and asking teachers if we can come present to their students. So students were asking a perspective about topical issues, self-esteem, bullying, saying no to drugs and alcohol, and we want them to do something in a creative form. So they can do creative writing, something in visual arts like painting or photography or media arts. They want to blow their tongue or they want to sing or dance, whatever they want to do to creatively express themselves about a positive issue. We'd love to have it. Okay, well let's take a look because you brought some, well we have, you, we've got some graphics from right. what people have sent in in the past. So. Tell me, this is kind of a reflection of what people can submit? Right, so students, so this one is about beauty and how this person sees themselves, and it looks like there's a poem and then a drawing, so that's one illustration, that's a finalist from St. Louis, and we have some other ones. Obviously, this was about knocking out bullying mm -hmm. and, you know, punching yeah. <laughs> out, you know, something negative and making it in a positive way. Mm -hmm. So he did his creative expression that way. And you can see the different skill levels. This one is obviously about cyberbullying. So if you don't feel comfortable saying it in public to someone, obviously do ne never type it. You know, don't be a bully on on your social networks. Mm -hmm. And these are things that teenagers deal with mm -hmm. every day. And so Walgreens mm -hmm. have stepped up, they've stepped up to the plate mm -hmm. to give them money to mm -hmm. do this. So first place is $2,000 wow. and it's cash. It's not a scholarship. These students don't have to use it for higher education, but as an adult, I right. would I encourage them to use it for <laughs> sure. that, but they don't have to. So they win money. Teachers can win $500. The school can win $500. So it's a win, win, win. So everybody involved could benefit financially as well as just a positive thing, mm -hmm. you know, to do. And that's first place. Second mm -hmm. place, the students win $1,250. So nobody walks away empty-handed. Okay. And in second place, the teachers also still win $500. Okay. So it's a huge, lovely contest <laughs> that ends November 30th. No, it's great. And I mean, you're talking about and you're having kids being able to express themselves right. and express themselves about issues that are important to them. Let's talk about the timeline. So the submissions run till the November 30th, November right? 30th. It's been, it started October 1st, so okay. it ends November 30th. A submission is super easy. You just go to expressionschallenge.com, mm -hmm. hit the entry uh, button there, and you can just submit right there. Okay. I can come to your school and help you submit. Well, oh, however, cool. whatever I can do to help these students win $2,000 and really just express themselves in a positive way, we're bombarded with negativity, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. here's a great thing for teenagers to do that's really positive and it mm -hmm. can support them, their teacher, and their school. Okay, so the submissions go through November 30th and right. then jurors, look at this, judges. Oh, house. right, that's a great question. So it's part voting and part judging. So the okay. sooner a student can submit something, then they can ask their friends and family to help them, oh, okay. you know, to vote for them. And then there's a panel of judges that uh, determine the final winners. So if you are a finalist, you will be notified around Christmas break. Okay. And then um, the, the final award ceremony where the, where the winners are revealed happens in January. That's great. Do you see, like, when, with last year's or just in general, a commonality of the, the sort of themes? that a lot of teenagers express is bullying a big one is it just or is it across the board across the board but mm -hmm. the the category that most people do is creative writing okay you know poetry mm -hmm. and poet rap is only is poetry just reinvented right mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. the students they love to do creative writing short stories essays the one category that has the least amount of submissions mm -hmm. is media arts huh. so I always encourage students to do that to do that category because your yeah. <laughs> your chances are really good to win <laughs> you know so media arts creative writing whatever the sky's the limit and media Honestly. arts include, is that video? That video, is that exactly, video. All right, well, it's the Walgreens Expressions Challenge taking place right now. The submissions are completely open, and it's open. The deadline is November 30th. You can uh, submit online at Expressions challenge.com and what is this just it's a great great time yeah. and two thousand dollars right so <laughs> has been doing it for about four years now and okay. 1500 students have submitted you know really? so and there are two winners in each category so six students can okay, walk well, away absolutely. with the tons yeah. of money you know and it's cash yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> love <It's> a no-brainer <laughs> right well it's good to see you thanks, thanks for coming here yeah. all right well that's we're gonna take a quick break but that's all we have with Erica Parr right now but we'll be right back after this